it can't. I signed it in the courtroom. I, hold on one second. Let me get on the record, Miss Edgley, okay? Mm -hmm. And we'll get started. Uh, Miss Ashley Edgley, would you please raise your right hand? Miss mm -hmm. Edgley, do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Mm, yeah, I do. Thank you. You put your hand down. Sit down. Okay, baby, in a minute. Shh. Just a minute. This appears to be a default. Is that correct, Miss Alexander? Yes, Your Honor. Court's going to find that Mr. Merritt was personally served with citation in this case, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice on May 31st of 2023. That citation will return on file on June the 1st of 2023. He has not filed an answer nor otherwise made an appearance in this case. Did you send him notice of this hearing? Yes, Your Honor, we did. You sent, can I ask where the notice was sent? Well, I'm sure they sent his to. Uh, you sent this to an email address, Miss. Uh, you scroll down a little bit further, Judge. Oh, I see. All right. Yeah, they sent it to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice as well. Okay, he's got notice of the hearing. They sent it to him in prison, Miss Edgerly. Yeah, they told me he would be on Zoom today. Sometimes TDCJ lets their people on Zooms, and sometimes they don't. Most of the time, they don't. Yeah. All right. You can go forward with your default. Now, uh, the state would, um, oh, I'm sorry, a little, uh, uh, the state would call Miss Edgerly. You've been I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Miss Edgerly, what's your name? Ashley Edgerly. Oh, um, uh, where is Mr. Merrick currently? Incarcerated. I guess. I don't know. Uh, you're on the state with the end of the state's mm -hmm. exhibit, the um, TDCJ information. All right. Uh, I have like, just real quick, I have two things on my screen and I've tried multiple times to click it and it's mm -hmm. not letting me. So I can't see. I see you have something on the screen, but I can't see the middle of it. All right. Let me see if I can make it a little bigger for you. Is that better? No, I, no. I have like a big old gray thing in the middle. It says oh, this meeting is being live streamed by staying on this meeting. You can send. I keep trying to click. Got it, but it's not. Oh wait, there it goes. It can honor. Okay, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, this whole Zoom thing. I don't. The agreement and all this. I don't like it. Let me know when you can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Miss uh, Edgerly, I've just placed on the screen a copy of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Inmate Information Details Report. Is it okay if I look at the report? Uh, sure. State's Exhibit B is admitted into evidence. Go ahead, Miss Alexander. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Um, Ms. Edgerly, was there a prior order, does it sound about right, that there was a prior order done back in April of 2021 that confirmed some arrears that uh, Mr. Merritt owed? I'm going to be quite honest. I don't feel like I've been in court for Hunter since it was in Orange County. Okay. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive. Was I there a prior if I may, was there a prior order which set the child support at minimum wage, where he was ordered to pay child support of $225 and medical support of $25? Does that sound about right? No. Now, Your Honor, the court would ask the, um, the state would ask the court to take judicial notice of the prior order that was done on April 21st, 2021. 
the court will take judicial notice of its own file. Okay. Um, it, does Mr. Uh, Merritt owe some arrears right now, to, to your knowledge? Does he have arrears? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, the state would enter the um, state's exhibit, the, um, the pay record in this case. Miss Edgerly, I've now placed on the screen a copy of the alleged pay record between you and Mr. Merritt. Is it okay if I look at this pay record? Uh, sure. State's exhibit A is admitted into evidence. Uh, Miss Edgerly, on May 31st, 2023, it shows that Mr. Merritt owes $26,669.63 in child support arrears. Um, does that sound about right? Uh, yes, but there's payments on there that I've never received. I don't know where they're coming from. They said it was a lien, but yet they can't tell me where the lien's coming from. I mean, he's incarcerated. He don't have a lien. You don't have bank. <laughs> I mean, where's it coming from? Where's those payments coming from? It was just it was just a payment that we were able to retain. I know. Out. Where are they coming from? I don't know. I don't know the specifics for that. That's the look. thing. I don't want to accept money when I don't know where it's coming from. He's in Miss Edgerly. Miss Edgerly. Oh, that's okay. Miss Edgerly. Yeah. The attorney general's office does not have to tell you where the money comes from. But that no one wants to tell me anything, though. Wow. Don't want to explain to me what a, ch a change of relationship is. Don't want to explain to me where the money's come from. Don't want to explain to me yeah, the well, welfare. Well, so, I, I mean, what do you want me to Ms. do? Edgerly, I need you to stop business? talking, please. No, I'm not. Then I'm going to mute you and, and then ev eventually evict you from my courtroom. I mean, you understand this is my courtroom, Miss Edgerly. I yeah, can't I do. Your, totally. Totally. I can't, answer, I can't answer your question if you just keep talking and talking and you keep asking one question after another. I've only asked two questions and I've been denied both answers. The, the, because you, they're not, they, they have federal rules in place that require that they not give you the information. They're privacy rules. They're not supposed to tell you how they got the money from Mr. Merritt. Okay. okay. They, they just, they're not required. It ain't coming it. from them though. That's the thing. Well, then what it's is it? Coming. So what does it matter where it's coming from? As long as it's coming from a legal source. Uh, Cause I don't want it to come from the state or my family who had a thumb over me. I don't need all that. I'm okay, very well aware then, of what's taking place and nobody wants to like be honest about it. Okay. Well, I mean, the, the money that you get from the, from the state of and Texas. I didn't it, get it though. That's the okay. thing. I did not get it. Okay. So it's not a question of where the money's coming from. It's a question of you didn't receive it. Both. Okay. I didn't receive well, the, it and I don't know where it's coming from. Well, the receiving part's a whole different story. You have the right to go to the AG's office and, with your pay record and say, I want to know where this money went. Not where it came from, where it went. Because it's applied to your credit history in regards to the child support. So you have a right to request and, and require the AG's office to tell you what they did with this money when they got it. Right. You don't, and it has you don't, to do with my other daughter. Somehow right. it's backward. But ever since that change of relationship, which I mm. go to court in person for my other daughter, for mm. this one, I can never go in person. When I asked my attorney, Jolie, what that meant, mm -hmm. she snatched it out of my hand and continued talking to the other parent. Every time I go to court, I'm the last one that goes in there and the judge mm -hmm. gets up and walks out like mm -hmm. there's never. So you have, another, you have another lawsuit with another case and another child. Uh, I have child support. All right. And you have custody of both your children? Yes, sir. All right. All in and, the, and the fathers on those children are both ordered to pay you child support? Yes. Uh, okay. My little one, her dad does everything as he should. Um, Madeline's dad never has. And both of your child support cases go through the attorney general's mm -hmm. office? Uh, yes. I just have an attorney on my little one. Okay. So that could be a problem. You might want to sit down with the AG's office and figure out and make sure they're not mixing up where the payments are coming you know, to you and they're not going backwards. It does happen. Yeah. I've been, we've been trying for since last year. <laughs> right. It's just not something that I can deal with, Ms. Edgerly, because I don't have the authority under federal law to, to investigate the right. how the I, AG's I office disposes of money. 
I get it. That's why I just don't want, I don't, don't want her in the system anymore. And again, you, I, as I explained to you before we started the hearing, Ms. Edgerly, if you don't want this case in the system anymore, all you have to do is just make sure that no one in your family is receiving any benefits from the state, and then you can close your case with them. Oh, what do you mean no one in my family? Well, I mean, if any of your children are receiving benefits, you may not have a, the issue. You may not have the right to close. Are okay, both so your children right, receiving? Uh, my little one has insurance but they made it to where she also kept medicaid so it would cover the difference right but if you but if you cancel the medicaid on one of your children it's going to cancel it on both yeah so then you won't be in the system anymore and you can close your case all right okay mm -hmm. go ahead miss alexander um, just to backtrack a little bit, um, as of May 31st, 2023, it shows Mr. Merritt owes $26,669.63. Does that sound about right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to ask the judge to set payment out on that amount. Do you have any objections on that? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. And for medical support arrears, as of May 31st, 2023, it is showing that Mr. Merritt owes $4,864.76. Does that sound about right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and I'm going to ask the judge to set a payment out on that for dad, uh, for Mr. Merritt to pay towards those arrears. Do you have any objections? Um, no, as long as my name is on And um, as Mr. Merritt has been incarcerated for a while. I'm going to ask the judge to order that his child support and medical support stop June 1st, 2023. And I'm sorry, what was that, Judge? You can't. It was served. Your citation wasn't even returned until June the 1st. When was he served? He was served May 31st. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to ask the court to stop his child support. Let me just double check, Judge. I'm pretty sure I just looked that up, and that's what it was. Yes, he was for, served May 31st, 2023, Your Honor. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to ask the court to stop his child support as of June 1st, 2023, and his medical support as of June 1st, 20, 2023, due to the fact that Mr. Merritt is incarcerated at this time. Do you have any objections? Uh, okay, so she's okay, but she's still able to have the Medicaid until I can get insurance on her, correct? Even though it's stopping for him, does it stop for her immediately? Does that make sense? Always remember, Miss Edgerly, the child's ability to qualify Medicaid is between the child and Medicaid. It's got nothing to do with me, my court, or the attorney general's office. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Now, your ability to keep the Medicaid is between you and Medicaid and your desire to keep it or not. All right. But it's got, that's got nothing to do with my court or the attorney general's office. Mm. Anything else, Ms. Alexander? Nothing else from the state, Your Honor. The state rest. <coughs> so, Ms. Edgerly, my understanding from looking at the pleadings and listening to the testimony is that the AG's office is asking me to stop. Mr. Merritt's current child support and medical support due to his incarceration. Okay. Mm, okay. And then they're asking to make a finding in regards to how far behind he is. He still owes you the money that he owes you. Yeah. Okay. Right. And then once he gets out of jail, if you wish to start the child support up again, then you can ask the AG's office to file a lawsuit and get the, get the child support started again once he's released. <clears throat> Right. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, just for, I mean, he was incarcerated for like eight years and never once did they stop his child support like this, like cut it off like this. I, I understand. I, I, I don't have any excuses for the attorney general's office, Ms. Edgerly, why they do what they do. Some lawsuits they file, some they don't. I, they're all different. Mm -hmm. They're all their own individual cases. I, I don't know why they do what they do. Mm -hmm. I just handle them once they get in my courtroom, ma'am. Right. All right. The court's going to find the court has jurisdiction. The court's going to find, based on the testimony of Ms. Edgerly's and State's Exhibit A and B, uh, that Mr. Merritt is currently incarcerated. He's going to be there for at least the next 90 days. Therefore, child support and medical support will be stopped at this time and set at zero beginning June the 1st of 2023. I will confirm the child support and medical support arrears and find that as of May 31st of 2023, Mr. Merritt is behind 
$26,669.63 in child support, $4,864.76 in medical support. <laughs> those payments, those judgments will be ordered to be paid back $300 a month on the child support, $50 a month on the medical support. Those payments beginning June the 1st of 2023. Court cost by Mr. Merritt, but I'll give him until December 31st of 2023. Pay my court cost. Ms. Alexander, the state of Texas here, all the terms and conditions of my order. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. Ms. Edgerly, Ms. Alexander's office is going to send me a, an order. If it matches what I said here today, I'm going to sign it and get it back to them. Then they're going to make a copy of it and they're going to send it to you and to Mr. Merritt, okay? Okay. Do you have any other questions that I might be able to help you with today, Ms. Edgerly? Mm, no. No, I'm, I really am sorry, Miss Edgley, that it's such a complicated uh, system. Um, right. we've just we just never been able to invent one that's less complicated. Right. I, mean, I get it. It's just between my family and the things that they're doing right now and what's happening now. It just it doesn't. I just don't feel. I don't know. You got you got a federal umbrella. This also yeah. got a, this also got a state umbrella. And agencies trying to work underneath those umbrellas to make sure none of the water hit us. That's what it is. Okay. okay. So there's a okay. whole lot of competing laws and a whole lot of competing statutes. And it's just sometimes it's just hard to juggle all those balls at one time. Right. I just want to make sure whatever's in place is truly what's best for my children. You know, that's it. And that's a good question, Ms. Edgley. And it's one that I struggle with every day. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Good luck to you. Have a good day. Thank you.